in the few weeks that I've had the Hot Tone Ampero 2 stage, I've been having so much fun with this unit. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a full review of the unit. If you'd like to check that out, then I will leave a link somewhere up here so that you can go and check it out. And on the full review video, I did a clip where I showed you guys how to create a patch or a preset on this unit and also assign scenes as well. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to set up an effects chain with an amp and various effects in front and behind the amp and cab as well. I also have two other videos which you might wanna check out. The first one shows how to set up the Ampero 2 stage with two amplifiers and two cabs and then switch between the amps and cabs using the scenes function. That's a really cool one, so you should definitely check that one out. And I also have a third tutorial where I show how to set this up for live playing, where one set of outputs goes to front of house and the second set goes to either an FRFR speaker or a power amp and a guitar cab without the impulse response. That's a really cool one as well, so that you can have the sound on stage and also coming out front of house, but obviously on stage, you don't want the impulse response going into your power amp and your guitar cab. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial where I show you how to set this up with a patch. Let's get going. Creating patches on the Ampero 2 is really, really easy. It always has been, even with my stomp, which is back here. On this, it's just as easy because the touch screen is so, so responsive. So I have an empty patch selected on my Ampero 2 stage and there are no amps, no effects, no, nothing, just a clean guitar going right through. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna change over to stomp mode first. And you can do it either via the switch or by pressing this button here on the touch screen, which says S, then it goes to patch mode there. And then you can select the type of setup that you want. And you can do parallels, you can do just a serial chain, um, you can select it all from uh, this button here and you can go uh, AB to Y, Y to AB, serial, uh, split mix, etc, etc. Um, we're just going to go with a very simple serial at the moment just to keep things simple. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an amplifier. So from here I'll go down to the amps and you can see how responsive this is. It's just really, really quick to select everything. And one of the things I like about the menu system is that it's all done into sub menu. So I can choose the type of amp that I want. If I want a clean amp, uh, drive amp, high gain, bass, power amp as well. I'm gonna go with the drive and I'm gonna go and find one of my favorite amps, which is the Marshall 50 jump or the Marshall 50 jump. So we've got this at the moment. <laughs> All right, that doesn't sound great right now. And that's because I have not put a cab after it. So I'm gonna select a cab as well. So when I go down to the cabs, I can either select the cab that I want, which is one of the um, ones that are created by Hot Tone themselves. So UK Green, let's say. Or I can basically choose to go down to the IR section and choose an impulse response. So it does have Celestian impulse responses built into this. So I can go to the uh, green 412, right down here. I kind of like that. I have my user IRs in here as well, so I can go down to my own um, greenback cab IR which is from my signature pack. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna keep that one. All right, so we've got an amp and cab in there now. All right, so the next thing I want is some delay and reverb. This is how I usually set up my, my sound. So I'll do it down here somewhere. So I'll select this block and I'm gonna find the, uh, the delay block which is uh, right down here. I'll select that and it comes up with the analog delay M just as, um, uh, as a default there, but I like tape echo. So I'm gonna go with tape echo S here. 
Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> So I've got a basic sound here. I haven't even messed with the settings yet. So let's see what the settings in the delay are. Now right down here, uh, mix is about 20. I'm gonna increase that just a little bit. And you can do that either via the encoder here or by just touching the screen and going up and down. It's really, really easy to do. So I'll put about 30%. <laughs> Great, I like that. I'm gonna keep everything else just as it is because I like the sound of that. Then I'll put a little bit of reverb on there. So I'll find the reverb and then I'll select the reverb that I want. So I'm gonna go with the, um, the large plate. Yeah, I love that. Um, now the mix is um, quite a lot on this one, so I'm going to reduce the mix just a little bit. Brilliant. I've got a good sound there, good solid sound. So I'm going to tweak the amp a little bit. Let's uh, put the volume one up a little bit, volume two up a little bit, get a little bit more gain. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to drop this down a little bit and I'm going to use a boost pedal to actually drive it. And the uh, other settings, just put the middle up a little bit. Great, that's sounding good. I'll leave it like that. I'll add in a drive pedal. So we'll find the drives. Okay, and it goes to the, uh, the green drive straight off. sounding good already all right so i'm going to leave the gain where it is i'm going to increase the volume somewhat so that it pushes the front end of the amp and drop the tone just a little bit as well now i can hear that the uh, uh, actual uh, preset is clipping a little bit so i'm going to go over to the amp and just lower the output a little bit so that we're not clipping too much. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna add in a noise gate right at the front here as well because I'm gonna gain this up in a second a little bit more. And um, when that happens, it can become quite noisy. So let's go to the noise gate here and just the AI gate and I'll leave it in um, just its stock form because it's doing a good job right now. I can go ahead and save this and I'll just save the patch and I'll just call it um, JP. That's it. Let's just call it JP. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, if I want to change the scenes, then I can do it via this button here. So what I'm going to do with this one is leave it as it is. In fact, I'm going to um, save three copies of this and then I'm going to go back to the first one, do a low gain mode. And then the second one is going to be this one, which is going to be medium gain. And then the third one is actually going to be high gain. So let's do that. Uh, I'll just change some of the settings here. I'll make this a little bit gainier. And then number three, um, I'm going to whack the volume up on the amp. Really give it some pep, give it a little bit more gain here as well. I'm just going to press save. Then what I need to do is go over to this button here on the screen and press that. And this is going to allow me to assign the foot switches to the different scenes and my effects as well. So I'm going to go over to this patch over here, which says number one. And it says off at the moment. Everything says off. And you can actually assign these two buttons as well, six and seven, which are the bank buttons, to the scenes as well. So if you want to control more parameters of your effects, then you can do that as well. So I'll click and hold that first one. And then what I'm going to do is just select scene number one. 
And for foot switch number two, I'm going to go to scene number two. Foot switch number three, I'll do scene number three. Now, when I get to foot switch four, um, I'd like to turn on and off my drive pedal. So I'm going to click my drive pedal and I'm going to double click it. So you need to touch it twice in order to activate it onto the switch itself. And switch number five, I'm going to do the same thing, but with the delay. So I'll touch the delay and then it just selects it. And I've got that assigned to the delay now. All right, I'll come out of this and I'll save this. And now I can switch between all my effects and the scenes as well. So if I come out of this, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the parameters here. So on scene number one, I'm going to turn off my drive pedal. Let's get a low gain tone here. I like that a little bit brighter as well. So let's turn the treble up and the presence up as well. Like that. Save that. Right now, when I go to scene number two, it will be my drive sound. It will be a little bit more high gain. If I go into the amp settings, you'll see that the amp settings have actually been retained um, as per how I save them in the first patch. So now I can actually change these as well. So I'm going to change the amp settings a little bit. Uh, let's have a little bit more gain on the front end here. Then I'll save that. I have the option of turning on and off my effects as well. So if I need to add in my drive pedal. Or turning off my delay. I can do that now as well and just have that nice reverb going on. All right, patch number three. Now on this one, the delay is turned off at the moment, so I'm going to turn it on. So there you go. That's how scenes works. That's how you can create a patch really, really quickly. You can see how intuitive it is. It's a pretty cool unit. So there you go. That's how you get started with creating patches or presets and scenes on the Ampero 2 stage. This is a real powerhouse of a unit. I love using it. And I can see myself using this live actually. So that's pretty exciting. If you would like to check out the patch that I created in the first part of the video, then you can download it for free. There is a link in the video description box below. And if you would like some more tones from the unit, then I have released a preset pack which you can purchase from my web store. And it contains all of the tones which I used on 
the track which I recorded for the full review video. I'll show you a little clip now and go and check out the full review and you'll hear all of the tones which I use from Ampero 2 stage. Alrighty guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you haven't done so already, please do hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when new videos are gonna be coming out. Alrighty, go and plug into some cool gear, turn it up, make some noise. Yeah, play some music today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you really soon with another video. See you later.